love unique jewelry. Well, Rachel and Ava are here to show us their incredible pieces that are made from ethically sourced animal bones. I am so interested in this segment. Welcome to you both. Thanks for being here. Thank course, you for thank having you. us. We're yes. so excited to be here. We are so happy to have you. Okay, let's talk about your business. What is it and how it, did it come to be? Okay, so it kind of started during COVID when everything was locked down. Okay. There wasn't a whole lot to do, you know, and so we spent a lot of time out in wilderness and we've always really liked bones, so we just kind of started picking them up and taking them home and <laughs> eventually we had so many that we were like, oh, we should learn how to clean these. And then once we had them clean, we were like, oh, may as well turn them into something. <laughs> so we opened our Etsy shop October of 2020. Okay. And we've just been doing it ever since. And here you are. Where do the bones come from? Where do you find them usually? So we normally, we'll go anywhere from Provo to Evanston. We will just go through all of like the national forests, canyons, um, and just look pretty much on the side of the road, pick up roadkill. Okay. <laughs> it's not a pretty job. Um, but what we'll, you turn it into is yeah, absolutely we try. beautiful. Let's talk about this. I want to show everyone this one. Tell me about this one right here, this piece. So those are raccoon jawbones. What? That we collected from a skull that was on the side of the road. I do remember that one. And... Uh, crafted it together, put them together, and we were like, oh, it's a nice little frame for a charm. Made it into this beautiful necklace. Okay, <laughs> tell me about these ones over here. So these ones this is are... deer tooth. Yeah, so this is a deer tooth and then a nice piece of clear quartz. We like to incorporate crystals a lot to the jewelry as well. Um, and it's a double piece so that the tooth falls kind of at a choker length and then the quartz oh, falls Oh, that's one necklace, chest. so it yeah. wore it together. Mm -hmm. It is stunning. Okay, Thank and where you. do you sell the jewelry? Where can people find this if they want to, you know, buy some right now? So we do still sell on Etsy. Our Etsy shop is just Vulture Vixens, but um, mostly we sell at local markets. We like to go to festivals, sell them hand to hand, but we also mainly do the local artisan collective in Ogden. In Ogden. Which is an awesome place yeah. to go. There's a bunch of different artist stuff. And, and that's where we can great. find you. Yeah. yeah, our stuff is always there. We're always there. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, and not only do you have beautiful jewelry, you have items like this. Tell me about this, too. So this is kind of a little terrarium. Um, it's used with a, or made with a cat skull that I found in, I think, the desert. Um, don't know what the cat was doing out in the desert. but <laughs> And then I just grabbed some um, natural, like, reindeer moss and just some fake flowers to kind of prettify it. And then it's just a little wall hanging. <laughs> it is is so stunning. They're just so creative. I love the art that Thank you've created you. here. Thank and you, you. you said you work with kids and do classes too? Yes, at the local Artisan Collective, we also sell owl pellets that are prepackaged, which I don't know if you remember, but in school you could pull them apart mm -hmm. and yeah. find the bones. And they don't really do that a whole lot anymore in school, so... We like to teach classes at the local artisan collective where kids can come in and have that experience and we tell them what the bones are, what they came from, and yeah, it's a cool experience. And create magic. How mm -hmm. fun, yeah. you guys. If we want to sign up for classes or follow you, where can we go? Localartisancollective.com. Yeah. Or your Etsy shop. Tell us your Etsy shop, too. It's just Vulture Vixens. Mm -hmm. Vulture Vixens yeah. to purchase any of these items. Okay. Yeah. Great to have you here. Thank you for showing of us course. all these cool of things. Of course. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much.